I have a daughter who is almost 11 years old and when she was four, I, she and I went to look for art books for children and we just weren't finding any books that I found really outstanding. And I thought, you know what, why don't museums publish children's books? We can provide a unique perspective, we have the artworks here, we care about what the artworks look like, we care about who the artists are, and people trust museums like MoMA to give them interesting and true, accurate information about art and artists. MoMA Publications was one of the original departments when the museum was founded in 1929. And since then, we've published over 3,000 books on all these different topics and on all of the exhibitions that we have mounted here at the museum. We've published three books with Daniel Handler, who's better known as Lemony Snicket, and with Myra Kalman, the incredible New York artist and illustrator. Uh, the first book was called Girl Standing on Lawns, and this features 40 photographs from MoMA's collection of what we call vernacular photographs, uh, photographs that were not intended originally as high art. The idea is that we as a museum have a different perspective than children's book publishers in general because we are very, very close to the art, We're, we live with the artworks and we work on them every day and we devote our lives to them and that's what we would like to share with the public.